This is great. Look at me. I'm in the real world of ordinary people, just living their ordinary, colorless, workaday lives. Thank you. No, thank you. And thank you, ordinary person. Hey, you want to hear an interesting thing about tomatoes? Uh, no, no, not really. Listen, didn't you say you needed some eggs? Yes, but anyone who knows anything about the dynamics of bacterial growth knows to pick up their refrigerated foods on the way out of the supermarket. Oh, okay, well, maybe you should start heading on out then. No, this is fun. Oh, the thing about tomatoes, and I think you'll really enjoy this, is they're shelved with the vegetables, but they're technically a fruit. Hmm, interesting. Isn't it? No, I mean what you find enjoyable. Oh, boy. What now? Well, there's some value to taking a multivitamin, but the human body can only absorb so much. What you're buying here are the ingredients for very expensive urine. Well, maybe that's what I was going for. Well, then you'll want some manganese. <laughs> that was fun. Maybe tomorrow we can go to one of those big warehouse stores. Oh, I don't know, Sheldon. It's going to take me a while to recover from all the fun I had today. Are you sure? Uh, there are a lot of advantages to buying in bulk. Uh, for example, I noticed that you purchase your tampons one month's supply at a time. What? what? Think about it. It's a product that doesn't spoil, and you're going to be needing them for at least the next 30 years. You want me to buy 30 years' worth of tampons? Well, 30, 35. When did your mother go into menopause? Okay. I'm not talking about this with you. Oh, yeah, Penny. This is a natural human process, and we're talking about statistically significant savings. Now, if you assume 15 tampons per cycle and a 28-day cycle, are you fairly regular? Okay, no warehouse store, but we're still on for putt-putt golf, right?